Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So, this is a prophetic word from God. As you can see, it's about destiny, talent, and ability. So, God has given us all a destiny, a talent, and ability. And He, the people, there have been people who have been using spiritual wickedness to kill, steal, and destroy people's destinies, talents, and abilities. And there have been people in the earth that have been walking in other people's destinies, other people's talents, and other people's abilities that God gave it, gave to them. And there's people who have exchanged people's destinies with their own. So there have been people living a life that they shouldn't have been living because of your celebrities and because of envious and jealous, hateful neighbors, friends, and family. There have been people who are destiny and talent blockers stoppers, hinders, delayers, and sabotagers, and their masks have fallen off, and put punishments and judgments and shame onto them. So God has released punishments upon them, God has released judgments upon them, and God has released shame upon them. And the outcasts are the true winners. And he wants me to explain to you ability and um the weeping and the gnashing of teeth and the talents how he gave everybody a talent to their several ability and these people who have been stealing people's destinies and walking in other people's destiny they still have not became have not walked in their own destiny all right like they're watching your life and your talents and your destiny and they want it for themselves but they have their own Every creation has a destiny to fulfill. Just like I told you maybe two years ago, Jack had a Beanstalk story. That was his story. Up till now, they still don't have their story because they weren't walking in their destiny. Sinbad the Sailor, he had a Seven Sea story. These people who have been walking in other people's destinies, blocking, stopping, hindering, delaying, exchanging people's destiny are yet to even walk into their their destiny and what they're destined to do and then the people who have stole people's talents and abilities he's putting them to shame right and you're gonna see that they weren't they weren't talent they don't have that talent he took the talents away from them that they stole he took the ability away from them so this is just like prevalent to what happened here hey, Wish to have a fancy car. you know he Wish can't sing he wasn't blessed with well, with the talent of singing God putting them to shame publicly. Remember, I told you God does it publicly. Okay, you, you get what I'm saying? So he wants me, I'm going to break this in two videos because I have to go through the scriptures and to do it the way how God wants me to do it. Like, now you know, these are people who have stole people's talents and abilities and were in careers and positions in life that they weren't supposed to be in. You get it? So, this is a perfect example that people, God gave you your own talent and your own ability to your several, to what you can manage. God doesn't give you more than you can manage, right? And that the people who have been the outcast are the true winners. That's why God tells you something concerning the outcast and what he's going to do. Because the people who they, they ostracize and the people who they gave bad names are the people who are the true winners and the talentful and the people who are great, who have great names. And they stole their greatness and they stole their, great, their, their abilities and their talents. And you people praise them when they're actually the problem. Now... Psalms 147 and 2. The Lord does build up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. Why does God gather the outcasts of Israel? Because they're the true winners. Winners love winners. It's the losers who hate winners. And they try to block them, stop them, hinder them, delay them. And they speak ill about them. And they make up smear, com smear campaigns. And they say every single thing evil to outcast these people. Now God tells you, in Isaiah 16 and 3 take counsel execute judgment make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday hide the outcasts 
why do you need to hide the outcasts? Because you got people out here trying to kill, steal, destroy from them, take their destinies, take their talents, and take their abilities. And Isaiah 56 and 8, the Lord does, the Lord God, which gathers the outcasts of Israel, says, Yet will I gather others unto him, others who those things have been done to, besides those that are gathered unto him. Like other nations of people who those things have happened to them from their family, their friends, and celebrities, and a lot of people, just people who look in the spirit and they see people's greatness and they see their talents and their abilities and they want it for themselves, but they're yet to know their talent, their ability, and, and to walk in their destiny. Now Isaiah 11 and 12, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So I just want to get that there so that we're going to talk about, God wants me to go through the story of talents, and about abilities, and the weeping and the gnashing of teeth, but I don't want this video to go too long. So I'm going to make a next video right after this. Masks have fallen off. This is just to tell you judgments and shame. Punishments, judgments, and shame are gone out to destiny, talent, and ability. Killers, stealers, destroyers, exchangers, blockers, stoppers, hinders, delayers, and sabotagers. And those who got these things from Satan, those who got these things from principalities and powers, those who got these things from fallen angels, those who have been fighting against these things, they're yet to walk in their own destiny. They don't have their own story because they were trying to live your life. And that just made you stronger. It made you it made God work with you more and it just trained you for the end time battle for the last days that we are in they haven't been trained in the end times battle because they weren't walking in their destiny that's why it says one will draw fight, like they're even gonna run from children because these people weren't walking in their destiny they weren't walking in their own talent and ability and the people who've been stealing people's energies you understand these this thing has is over mass have fallen off punishments judgments and shame onto them by god this is the message that he wants me to let you know and that it's already manifesting that's why um i showed you with ray j and um jeremiah the, those people on verses like these people who don't have the talent to sing that wasn't their in a, their ability stay blessed part two is coming up right up